All right, guys, I want to kind of go over some basic concepts of whenever you are doing a new roof install. As you can see right here, nice architectural shingle. The difference between this and all the uh, shingles you guys see in a lot of these houses in the neighborhoods is this is actually Owens Corning True Death Weather Guard HP. What that is is actually a class four impact resistant shingle. Depending on your insurance carrier, some actually might give you a premium discount because of course they already understand that these shingles here are impact resistant. So you actually have extra coatings and more rubberized asphalt ingrained into that. That being said, when a hailstorm does hit, it will still affect these, but it will not actually destroy them as bad as a normal architectural laminated shingle. Um, to go with the impact resistant class four field shingle, we actually have an Owens Corning hip and ridge shingle. So as you can see, it is the weather guard HP. It's not just a typical three tab shingle. It's actually a weather guard. So this is actually impact resistant class four rated also. Um, as you can see right here, this is a uh, starter strip. So we're using all Owens Corning here. You got your Owens Corning felt all synthetic uh, depending on some people some people like to do different brands of roofs things like that it's just kind of like everybody likes to pick chevy ford dodge stuff like that really doesn't matter to us as long as it's a good shingle we'll put on your house um, that being said this roof did have a three tab roof on it for the shingles which is your old school brick style roof you can actually see one uh right over here behind us it's a little hard to see but it's actually only rated to about 60 mile an hour winds if perfectly installed versus these Depending on your architectural shingle, they're rated at 110 to 130 plus mile an hour winds. So not only are you getting better wind resistance, especially if you're out in the country with those straight winds, it'll also help you with that, along with being impact resistant. So whenever we get those hailstorms here in Dallas-Fort Worth area, it can still compromise these shingles, but of course it does take a lot larger size of a hailstone to compromise an impact resistant. Um, so make sure when you're talking to your contractor, go over options and ask how, how I can better build my house back so we don't have to go through an insurance claim every single couple years because a lot of these contractors are still eating deductibles which by the way September 1st of 2019 they passed HB 2102 which that bill requires you to pay your deductible you've always had to but the state actually made it a little bit harder so if you have a contractor willing to give you um, discounts rebates free upgrades stuff like that instead of paying the deductible that is not okay it's actually illegal and of course it is insurance fraud which in the state of texas is considered a felony so make sure you guys are using a contractor that is going by the book and make sure you know he has integrity or she and make sure they're not you know messing stuff up or violating the, the law where of course you guys can be affected as long as that contractor also so do not do that kind of stuff i understand the deductibles are expensive and it does suck whenever we get a storm that comes through but there is financing packages. A lot of good contractors or the reputable ones out there have third party financing or they'll do a deductible assistance payment plan. I'm not talking about eating the deductible. So make sure your contractor's doing it by the book. Ask them if you can do any upgrades, what they recommend, stuff like that. So they can go over some other options. Um, other than that, if y'all have any questions or comments about this, feel free to reach out to us. And uh, this is Garrett with Warrior Wolf.